some dinar guru updates from pimpy austin powers for pm and jeff okay pimpy article quote foreign minister positive expectations that iraq will exit from the list of high risk countries during the current year what are the odds of that this is big i think what would kick start this is an announcement by trump for the international community to once again recognize the sovereignty of iraq I think more now than ever, you could see this stage is being set for the Iraqi dinar rate change to finally change. Okay, uh, Austin Powers for PM. So let's think this through for a minute. It's no accident that Trump chose August 20th for the day he's meeting with PM al Kazimi. What else is happening that has been scheduled for a while? Yes, that's correct. Joe Biden accepting the Dems nomination. What does Trump want to do most of all? He wants to suck the oxygen out of the news cycle and make Biden's acceptance speech a non-event. A non-event. How does he do that? He makes a bombshell announcement shortly before Biden takes the proverbial stage. Who will be with him at that time? Yep, PM Al Kazimi. What will this bombshell announce be? It could be a whole lot of things. Iraq, Kuwait, SA uh, recognizing Saudi, uh, Israel, massive trade deal with Iraq, anything else. A sovereign Iraqi state won't excite the media by itself. I think it's a combination of a peace deal, trade agreement, sovereignty announcement, and support for Iraq, internal financial reforms. RV happens shortly thereafter. What shortly is will be quite variable in my opinion, sometime between August 20th and January 1st, but just in my opinion. But it will have to be epic to suck up all the MSM attention, so I wouldn't be surprised if al Kazimi made some sort of announcement standing next to the president. But we shall see. Something's going to happen Thursday evening. Okay, Jeff, article quote, Foreign Ministry positive expectations that Iraq will exit from the list of high-risk countries during the current year. They're talking about removing Iraq from the list of high-risk countries thought or felt to support terrorism. That's called the OFAC list because Iraq's on that list within the U.S. The big banks do not exchange Iraq's currencies. 